Hey, Dre, how are you this afternoon? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, Will Snyder for the Advocate here. Pleasure to see you. What, um, I guess we'll just start back on, on Sunday. What was that day like for y'all as players finding out that Coach O wouldn't be returning next season? And what was that team meeting sort of like there Sunday evening? Oh, man, you know, it was hard. It was hard on all of us, you know. We just love Coach O so much. He's a great guy. He's a great coach. And he also like a mentor to us. So, you know, we we're going to miss Coach, and we appreciate everything he have done for us. Yeah, hey, Dre, um, I guess, you know, for you personally, going back on, on Saturday, you know, having that three-touchdown game, that, that you know, go-ahead score there right at the end, just, um, you know, what did it mean to you to have a game like that and really step up in Kayshawn's absence, um, you know, and, and kind of lead that receiver line? Oh, uh, you know, it means a lot. Um, you know, it means a lot. You know, Kayshawn, he's a great guy to see him go down. You know, we had to have somebody step up. And, you know, just get those touchdowns. Like, we, you know, we always knew it was going to come in just a thing to win. You know, we all worked hard. We prepared well for this game, and we just wanted to get the victory. Yeah, I, I guess just kind of, I know you're in the receiver room and working a lot with the receivers, but could you really see a performance like that from, from Ty coming? I mean, was that something you guys had seen in practice in recent weeks? You know, the chemistry of the offensive line and, and, and the, you know, the running backs as well seems to really have picked up in the last you know, handful of weeks. Oh, yeah, we knew it was coming. You know, Ty David Price, he's a, He's a great guy, you know. He's a great guy to be around. You know, we got some great linemen, you know. We just put it all together Saturday. They blocked the good. Ty ran the ball great, and there's more to come with it. You know, Jure, I mean, after that game, you, you tweeted about, you know, you, you know your mom's still proud, and that was for you, her. And just how much do you still think about her? How often is she in your mind? Oh, man, that's all the time, every day. That's, just, that's a feeling that can never go away. Do you feel like, is she sort of like a big motivation for you? Sort of what role does she continue to play even though she's not here anymore? Oh, you know, that just, that what keeps me going. That was on the field, off the field, in the classroom, everything. You know, because I know what she would have done for me if I, if she was still here. So, you know, I just carry that with me everywhere I go. Also, just uh, you know, we just got to talk to Jack. The way that his blocking has emerged in the last few weeks as a part of this offense, how much ha has he opened up things in the run game, ha having that lead blocker like that? Oh, uh, you know, Jack, he opened it a lot. You know, uh, I told Jack a couple weeks ago, I like your time is going to come. Um, just be patient with it. He did. And his number was called in the game. He got in. He made big plays, big blocks. He got the ball through to him. Everything. So you know, he was prepared for it. He. And he did what he had to do. When you're running gap, gap schemes like that and all those counters, do you have to have someone like that in that role? I mean, you know, anybody can do it, you know. But at that moment, Jack was there. And, you know, we just got to congratulate him for doing what he did and also the O-linemen. So, you know, we got to give all the praises to those guys and also for Ty for hitting the holes where he needed to. And you've seen the outcome of how that went. Ray, what what's the most touchdowns you ever had in the game at uh, at Gina High there? Uh, I think like four or five. Have uh, Have you heard a lot from your friends, former teammates, family uh, from from Gina this week? Oh yes, sir. They all have hit me up on some social media, or also text messages. What? Uh, how did you feel like as that game was progressing? Did you just feel like you were? always open or, you know, did you realize you had three touchdowns or yeah. points in your head? I realized, you know, in a game, I don't realize about how many touchdowns I have, what I'm doing on the field. You know, basically when I'm on the field, I'm just trying to get the victory, trying to help my teammates, you know, if it's either blocking for the running backs in the hold or also for the receiver to have the ball. So in my head, it's not me, what I'm doing or what, anything, it's just, you know, um, doing something for the next man. Thank you. Hey, Jure, Jacques from Channel 9. Um, before you, who was the most famous football player to come out of Gina? Uh, probably Jason Hatcher. You know, he, he made it to the league, so probably him. How many years back is that? That's uh, about 21 years. Okay. All right. So no, no LSU Tigers from Gina before no. you, I don't think? No, it's so not football. Got you. Um, and one more quick question. Um, 
So last year you came into the year and not many people were talking about you and you surprised some people. This year, I guess there were expectations and then that was Florida's kind of a breakout game for you. How has it, uh, how's it been this year? Coach O said you, you were patient and waited your turn. Oh, uh, you know, it was, it was good, you know. Like he said, I've been patient, but like with that being patient, I also worked hard every day, you know. I wasn't going to let nobody out work me. So, you know, we, me and all the other guys in the room, we all worked hard and everything going to speak for itself. Hey, Jare, this is Leah from The Advocate. I was just wondering if you could think back to your recruitment. How much, how instrumental was Coach O in bringing you to this program? Do you think you're at LSU otherwise? Uh, yeah, Coach O. Coach O was also one of the big factors why I came here, you know. He, um, oh, man, it's just, it was a great thing when I first talked to Coach O, you know. He was just that humble guy, you know, just he told you straight up from the jump. And, like, that's what I liked about him. He told me how things were going to be here. And everything that he said is going to be, it has been. And, like, so I appreciate Coach O for everything he has done for me. What other schools were you looking at at the time, or did you have any? No, uh, yeah, it was a couple more, but LSU was leading the pack out of all of them. Yeah, hey, Dre. I mean, we've heard, you know, so much about this freshman receiver class, in particular, really all season. I mean, just, um, you know, you've been a leader for that group really all year. Just uh, talk about, you know, how special this core is and just what the – future of this room looks like with those uh, with those guys? Oh, uh, you know, the freshmen, they, they have a bright future in front of them. Um, from Malik to Brian and um, also Chris, you know, they all great guys. They, they also humble. That's the most thing about them. And that's what I like about them. They come to, um, to the office every day and work, you know, and it shows on Saturday, you know, they all put in work and just like everyone else. So I feel like their future is going to be bright in front of them. So I feel like you're going to see more to come from them also.